Hey guys, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Math Man channel. And today I'm going to sort of like teach you how to actually input a horizontal line in the graph itself, all right, uh, in a very, uh, very hack, life hack manner. So usually when we sort of like want to uh, input uh, uh, or insert a, a horizontal line itself, okay, to sort of like uh, in. Uh, denote a cut off what I will do is I will go to shapes and I will go to click on this line button and I will draw a particular line itself All right but the problem is that you know sometimes you know we want to sort of like draw a horizontal line that's pretty much straight enough okay it will takes a while you know it's, it's going to be particularly messy and also the next thing is that if you want to actually copy uh, the whole graph into a PowerPoint slides to present it to the audience itself well you may encounter problems of like you know uh, you don't need to adjust the line itself, okay, because you need to resize the whole kind of graph, all right. So, uh, let me teach you a way to actually um, input or uh, insert this uh, horizontal line to the graph itself in a very accurate way. So, first thing that uh, you do is actually you will need to create sort of like a cutoff point. So, let's pretend that this the x axis itself represents the group numbers and the y axis itself represents the total points, okay. So, first thing that I will do is to actually insert a particular cutoff uh, point. So, let's say for example the total point cutoff is I would say 41 okay and so what I would do is to click on this uh, graph itself using the mouse itself you click uh, you right hand click uh, the mouse itself and you click select data so under this select data itself you add all right so how do you go about adding it's um, well the series name you can just put all the points cut off um, for the y series y values is actually this particular number itself because you want it to be uh, the value that is cut there is a cut off value so you click on this well the series x value is a bit special why because um, uh, it is uh, why because uh, the reason is because you need okay to this series x value needs to be the midway point okay, okay of the uh, of the maximum value itself. So in this case, the maximum value is 7. So the series X has to be the midway point, which is uh, 3.5. Why is this so? I will tell you later because I'm going to use error bars to actually plot out my horizontal line, which is uh, kind of like a bit special, right? So once we got this point, the next thing we do is we click on this point, go to uh, design and click on the arch add chat elements and under this add chat elements there's this error bars and go to uh, sort of like a percentage, all right? So yes, you can see when you, when you sort of like uh, plot or click on the percentage, you, you have two kinds of error bars. One is the horizontal error bar, the other is the vertical error bar. So we do not need the vertical error bar, so we can just click the, click on this uh, vertical error bar just now and delete it, all right? So just click on the vertical error bar. We just click on this vertical error bar and we delete it. So now you only have the horizontal error bars, am I right to say that? So next thing that you do is to click on this horizontal error bars and click on this... Um, portion down here will pop out and click on this bar down here and after which okay uh, you change this percentage to 100% right so when you change this 100% this will occur uh, you will now have a horizontal error bar all right so as you can see down here if you want to see there's this cap okay uh, because error bars do have a cap down here if you want to you know definitely you want to remove the error bar the cap on itself and we just click on no caps and uh, last but not least, okay, <laughs> we will click on this, uh, you know, dot, uh, okay, because we want to remove this dot, all right? So what we do is that click on this pane down here and click on the marker, which is this part down here, and just click on it and click on fill, all right? So it says automatic down here, that means uh, the dot itself is Fill with color, so just click on no fill and then it will automatically disappear. And also, you have to because you can see that there's a line down here. Am I right to say that? So just um, click on border and click on this no line. So the line will eventually eventually disappears, and you will now have a horizontal line. And the best thing is that if you were to change the number itself, right, this horizontal line will sort of like move. Okay, and one final thing about this uh, ex, uh, you know 
Excel thing, okay? In case you want to, you, uh, you know, you realize that uh, this portion down here is uh, automatically added and you want to adjust it, what you can do is to click on this uh, portion down here, click on format and go to format selection. Under format selection, you take a look at this portion down here. It says bounce, right? Am I right to say that? And you change it to seven. And here we go. This horizontal lines will sort of like extend to the end of the graph. Just nice. Am I right to say that? <laughs> okay, so it's, it's, this is really a very small tip on how to actually add a horizontal line. So if you guys really like this video and want to know more about all those very small life hacks in Excel, you can actually subscribe to this channel. Okay, this channel is not just not only just a math math channel, but it is also a Excel channel. Okay, um, Bob here signing off. If you do have any queries in regards to any Excel whatsoever, if you want me to come out with any videos, you can actually um, um, send me a PM. All right. <laughs> okay, Bob signing off from here. Thank you guys for watching and supporting the video, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.